Today I'm going to show you how to extend a virtual disk or a CSV in an S2D cluster. To start with, we're going to open up an administrative PowerShell and we're going to check to see what virtual disk we currently have. And as you can see, I've got four virtual disks here. Uh, the one we're going to mess with is Admin Center, just for the demo. So we're going to run get dash virtual disk dash friendly name admin center and then we're going to pipe it into resize virtual disk and then we're going to give it a new size and you want to give it the new size so currently it's at 21 gigs uh, we're going to increase this to 25 And it has been increased. Okay, and now we're going to run virtual disk variable get dash virtual disk. Admin center. Put that into a variable. We're also going to get partition virtual disk we're going to pipe that into get disk and then get partition where partition number is equal to 2 now if we run partition size oops resize partition size partition partition supported size size max Now if we run get dash volumes. Alright, and as you can see, admin center has now been successfully moved up to 25 gigs from 21. And that's a lot of work to do this in, in PowerShell. It's much easier to come over here to admin center and from the dashboard here, all you need to do is come over to Volumes, go to Inventory, check the one that you want to click on, and click Expand. And now we can change this to, let's say, 30. And then we click Expand. And it does everything for you. It actually extends the virtual disk and it extends the volume to match it. And as you can see now, it's been expanded to 30 gigs. And that's it. That's all there is to it in Admin Center. So if you get the chance, definitely try it out. Thank you guys. Have a good one.